Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In our today's video, I am going to demonstrate you the installation steps, installation procedure of Lifotronic ECL8000. ECL8000 Lifotronic is a electrochemical emissions analyzer and it has a throughput of 86 tests in one hour. All over the world, uh, there are only two companies who have this methodology for chemical emissions, which is electrochemical. Electrochemical emissions, one is Roche and Lifotronic E7, they have the second one. So which means all over the world, only two companies who have this electrochemical methodology. And this is the second company in the world and in China, because this is made in China. So this one is the first company in China who have this E-Clear method, electrochemical method. And if I'll say something about the chemical emissions, then there are three methods. One is electrochemical emissions, one is direct chemical emissions, one is uh, that's called the enzymatic chemicals. So for the electrochemicals, two companies, as I said, like Roche and uh, Lapotronic. And for the direct uh, direct electrochemicals, one is like Snipe and Johnson Johnson. Same as if I talk about the like for example uh, enzymatic chemicals, then there you will find like Autobio is there, Mindre, Backman, Bamirix. They have the uh, enzymatic chemical emissions and uh, methodology. So guys, uh, let's start my today's video. And in this video, you will see how to do the installation, how to load the reagents, how to uh, run the patient samples, and and some more things. Maybe if I'll get a time, so I will show you how to run the patient sample as well. And after that, uh, again, if I'll get a time, uh, then I will show you how to do the maintenance of this analyzer. So let me start my today's video. So guys, now I will show you how to make the system water. So for system water, you have to fill this can up to 9 liter up to this mark. Once you will fill with deionized water or distilled water, but I will prefer you to use the deionized water. If you are going to use a distilled water, then be sure it is double distilled because I don't want any kind of minerals in the water. So fill up to 9 liter and then you can add 1 liter concentrated washing buffer. So this one I am going to add here. So let me add. Always fill DNS water first and then add this concentrated washing buffer. Okay, once you will add, then cover it like this. So, guys, uh, why I add, uh, why I prepared this one first, the reason is that it will take two hours. So we have to wait two hours. That's why first I prepared this one, and now I will start the installation. So in this way, once until I will complete the uh, installation of it, this system wash uh, water will be ready. So guys, now I'm gonna start. I'm not gonna check the voltages, input voltages. So um, as a standard requirement, we knew that uh, from line to the neutral, which means phase to the neutral, it should be up to 240 volts as per the specification of this machine which means 100 volt AC up to 200 voltage AC and if I check the grounding which means from ground to the neutral it should be 0 or maximum 5 it should be less than 5 for the grounding voltages and if I check the voltage difference be voltage between the neutral and the line it should be the same as neutral and the line maximum voltage difference should be 5 volt but not more than that so here, uh, let's see how is the grounding. Okay. So here it is 0 0.4. So grounding is okay. Now let me check the voltages. 
so here the line in neutral it is here 242.6 and here from neutral grounding to the neutral it is 242.5 which means both are approximately same difference of only one volts so as i told you that here the voltages are 240 is the standard here in this country so uh, i recommended them to use the uh, online UPS to step down up to 220 volts AC. So guys, this is the time to load the system reagent. So what are the reagents? Here we have one buffer 480 ml and one upper so buffer will be on the left side and upper will be on the right side the black cap is for the upper and there is you, there is no chance you cannot keep you cannot place this region on the left side because of the bottle structure definitely will be on the right side okay and be sure there are no bubbles in these both bottles if you'll find some bubbles then you need to get rid of these bubbles next step is that you will find some silicon cap so why silicon cap is required it is required to uh, prevent from the pollution of course dust or something will be there so it will prevent it now i'm going to open this so i will open this cap and instead of that i will use the silicon cap like this okay same as i will open this upper end and I will connect this silicon cap. So this is the way how to load the system reagents. So guys, now everything is ready and now I am going to switch on the analyzer. On my left side, we have two switches. One is for host which is the system and other one is for the refrigeration. So I am going to switch on both. So now it is starting. So guys, now I will explain you how to load the reagents. This is for hepatitis B reagent. Don't forget to remove the seal. Okay. So what you are going to do, just open this one and keep here. Now it is loaded. You can keep this reagent anywhere. Suppose I am going to start with pulse number 1. That's it. It is done. So guys, now I am going to load the quality control values by using this RFID. So this is your main screen. Just open this and show this RFID here. Automatically it will detect the values and it will show you the quality control values and you can load these values. So guys, now I will explain you, I will teach you how to load the qubits. So here we have this segment, it has 25 uh, qubits. So total we can load 4 segments which means 25 into 4, 100 tests. So first open this one right so here suppose i want to uh, replace at position number d a b c d anywhere i can uh, replace this i can load the segments suppose i want to replace at number d so once i'll press number d it will if last me are you sure you want to change the incubation cups i'll say yes so now you will see this in the screen and now i will load at d like this you can see 25 um, incubation cups detected. I'll click save. So in this way, we can load the incubation cups or qubits or uh, any any name you can use it. But basically, it is called as uh, essay cups. Okay. So guys, now we are going to start the calibration of hepatitis B because here I just uploaded only one region, which is hepatitis B. So we have such kind of rats. 
in one rack we can upload 10 samples 10 calibrator 10 qc whatever you want to run and we have such adopters which means directly you can keep your calibrator inside without transferring to any other sample adopter uh, and also we need to open these caps open the cap and first of all because in this software it will ask you for the position which one you kept here low high low normal high or high normal low so i just kept first position high normal low so let's run once you open this one we have a b c so i will just use rack a then close this door so guys click on reagent now click on the parameter which you want to do the calibration then add it cal and then pick the position like high level medium level and low level after that, click on save and then start so this is the way how to do the calibration so this is i'm just going to check that the values and let me close this and you can start the calibration click on play and yes so guys now i'm going to explain you how to run the patient samples so first Take your rack, anywhere you can keep the sample. Suppose I am going to load here. Then on your screen, click on edit. Then here, because I selected the uh, number three, rack uh, number C, and here click on test edit. Here, position number one. Suppose at position number one, I'm going to run the sample. I'll click on sample. It's a serum plasma. I'll say it's a plasma. Suppose I'm using the tube or I'm using a apple of cup. So I'll say it's a apple of cup. Normal or stat? I'm saying it's a normal. Which test I want to run? Hepatitis B or PCT? So suppose I'll say I want to run PCT. And then I'll click OK. That's it. Same as I'll go for uh, uh, number 2 and if I want to add any uh, ID number I can also add like I'll click here anything I can add you can see it is there same as here I want to run uh, suppose another patient samples I'll say this is a serum this is a tube and I want to run as a stat I want to run hepatitis B or I want to run PCT as well I want to run both of them click there if you want to enter any patient ID you can enter any patient ID, close, and then OK. So in this way, we can run the patient sample. So guys, blank test is going on, and it will take approximate 12 minutes. In this blank test, what we are going to check. So basically, there is a range for baseline, which is from 30,000 up to 600,000. And the CV should be less than 1%. If you will get the CV more than 1%, then you have to repeat this blank test until you will get your ideal um, CV and which is basically it is called as a stabilized. So once it is stabilized, then that's over. And what you have to check, you have to check all these 12 values. So if I just look at this one, so I am getting it 135,000, 134,000, 134,000. So Till now it is stabilized so but I have to wait until it will complete the 10 and also I have to follow the CV so I will get the CV at the end of the test so which will take approximate 10 minutes 12 minutes so guys now I am gonna do high voltage adjustment to perform high voltage adjustment what we are going to do we need one high voltage adjustment buffer and we need high voltage adjustment reagent so this reagent i will keep at position number three and i will replace 
this high voltage adjustment buffer with buffer. So I will remove this buffer and instead of that I will use high voltage adjustment buffer like that. Okay, so next step is I'll go to the application, then advance, then I will enter the user ID and password, and then I'll click on performance maintenance, then I'll click on high pressure adjustment, and then start. Click yes. So in this way, it will take approximately, approximately 7, 7 minutes 30 seconds. So let's see. So here, uh, we have to check the average values in CV. The average value should be uh, approximate 100,000 plus minus 5,000. And CV should be less than 3%. So let's see our results. So guys, whenever you will restart the machine, it will ask you to do the measuring cell maintenance so for measuring cell maintenance we have this buffer and how we are going to use this we will remove the buffer from the analyzer instead of that we will use the measuring cell maintenance buffer it will look like this open the cover and we will use here like this that's it so Yes. Okay. So what is the next step? Let me show you. Click on the application. Then in the maintenance. Then maintain, uh, maintain instructions. And then you have to click on measuring self maintenance. Click on start. It will take approximately 13 minutes. Click OK. So guys, if you like my today's video, for the support of channel, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. See you again with another video. Till that time, bye-bye.